Turkish soldiers tortured Kurdish villagers, threw them from helicopter, locals say. Here's a summary of the article. Turkish soldiers tortured two Kurdish villagers they had detained, throwing them from a helicopter after battering them, eyewitnesses claim. A medical report for one of the villagers states that he suffered injuries consistent with a fall from a height. Military forces reportedly detained Osman, Ibn, 50, and Servet Turgut, 55, on September 11 while working on a farm in the eastern city of Van. According to a parliamentary question directed to Interior Minister Suleyman Soylu by Murat Sar, Sak, a deputy from the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, the villagers were detained by soldiers and taken away in a helicopter, then were admitted to a hospital in serious condition two days after their detention. The soldiers interrogated the two villagers under torture and threw them from the helicopter, Sar, Sak claims, citing their families. Lawyers for the villagers filed a criminal complaint against the soldiers, Mesopotamia reported. According to the report villagers on the scene while the two were being detained alleged that the soldiers threatened to shoot them when they protested the detention. This post received a score of 29,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. On today's How Fucked Up is Fucked Up, this would be pretty fucked up. Just a reminder that, fascists love this meme. I work in healthcare and once took care of a Vietnam vet who described this. He said they like to, expatriate, prisoners. I asked him to elaborate and he described throwing POWs out of an airplane over Cambodia. Of course sociopaths would think this was cool. God, I've met over a dozen people who wish they could go back to war because they liked hunting humans and want to not get in legal trouble. Most of those guys are full of shit and never did anything remotely dangerous their whole career. As a person who knows a few people that have been in very bad situations, and a person who knows a lot of people who say they have. 99.999% of the time, if they talk about it with someone who wasn't there, they're bullshitting. I know someone who served in Afghanistan. At the bar we went to, people would always egg him on about how many people he killed when he was there. He was always tight-lipped about it. Wouldn't say shit. Denied, denied, denied. Then one night, he slipped. He said he wouldn't say how many people he killed. I was never one to ask, because it's fucked up to ask. After that night, the questions stopped. Those people realized that it wasn't a game. You're right. The ones who brag about it probably never saw conflict. The ones who won't talk? They've seen some shit, and have done some shit. One of my close friends from college straight up invaded Iraq at 18, fought in both battles of Fallujah, and never spoke a word about his tours. He just had this feeling, almost a silent specter, around him that you knew he'd looked into the abyss and had to climb out. No one I knew ever once brought it up. Val Luyan was rough. Call him and check on him every once in a while. Just to say hey. And they wonder why Kurds want independence. It's a complete mystery to them. I don't think anyone wonders why they want independence. Many wonder why they still haven't given up hope though. I find it incredibly inspiring and impressive that they've still got the will to fight for independence, after everything they've been through as a people. I hope to one day see them establish their own nation, but it seems pretty unlikely. If they don't fight, their children will never be free. That is a powerful motivation. I mean, if they all just forgot their history and culture and let their people be pretty much erased, then they might live as free as anyone else in their respective countries. I don't blame them for not taking that option though, some pretty shit choices they get to choose from. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.